my name is uh, Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to strongly condemn an acceptable incident which took place on the 18th January 2024 in Eastern Equatoria, where one of our civil society organizations called Eastern Vision for Relief and Rehabilitation Organization Office was broken into by criminals. After the criminals entered their office, they destroyed all official records of the organization, and when the criminals were leaving, they locked the office with a padlock worth it to 15,000 SSP. This act of crime made us to raise questions. Are these the usual criminals that like to loot offices or these are people who are organized and directed by certain authorities? Because we have seen this practice in the region in East African countries where sometimes state agencies use the approach of breaking into civil society offices as a strategy of sending strong signal for civil society or activists in general not to be vocal and not to be questioning political leadership in terms of their commitment to constitutional governance of the society in terms of promoting democracy, transparency, and accountability. With due respect and honor, I would like to urge His Excellency Governor for Eastern Equatorial State and the Director of Relief and Rehabilitation in Eastern Equatorial State, the Police Commissioner, and the leaders of other security institutions that this particular incident should be investigated because this is an unusual act where criminals enter to an office, destroy official records of the office, and walk away and lock the office with a worthy padlock of 15,000 SSP. Why should somebody waste his 15,000 SSP to buy a padlock and destroy it to someone's office if he want to steal money? Even getting 15,000 cash is a solution to this particular group who break into people's offices. So we believe this is not a usual criminals. This must be an organized group that want to destabilize the civil society in Eastern Equatorial and any attack on civil society in country is an attack to whole family of civil society in the country. So we'd like to raise this uh, concern to the attention of political leaders in Eastern Equatorial State that this incident should not be allowed to go silently. It should be investigated and want to see all possible investigation to prove that padlock, who are behind the padlock and why should they buy 15,000 padlock and lock down office. And we feel this is a strong message to the family of civil society and active in the country that our civic space is shrinking. Now we have seen incidents of attack on our role as a civil society in the country and this is in a violation of the directives of the presidency, 22nd uh, October 2022, where they say state government should uh, allow political and civic space to open. At the same time, the violation of the of resolutions of the Governors Forum, the 6th and 7th, which call for open constructive engagement on civic matters. So I would like to take this opportunity to urge the State Police Commissioner uh, and the uh, Director of RRC in Eastern Equatorial State, this incident must be condemned and the state must have official position. What happened? What went wrong? What type of incident is this? Because as I said, I repeat myself, such incidents have been used in East African community to silence civil society.